Hi, good morning. So join me for a cup of coffee in the early morning here talking about a new certification on the market. I don't know <clears throat> exactly how new new it is, but you know, it's something that's been under the hood for quite a while. Something that's going to bring a new certification to the market from Hack the Box <clears throat> Academy. Now they say back in 2017 when Hack the Box was newly created as a community project, our mission was focused on offering a great environment for aspiring penetration testers looking for highly practical training content. Over the years, Hack the Box evolved and improved in all aspects. We've been uh, diversifying our content to involve all individual interests interested in learning cybersecurity, <clears throat> and we have created a space called Hack the Box Academy. There's a link here where even learners with no previous experience in the industry can uh, quickly get familiar with the fundamentals and upskills. Today we are thrilled to announce the, uh, what most of our community members have been waiting for a long time and yes, we got tons of win about it. We are now ready to release official Hack the Box Academy Penetration Testing Certification. So let's take a look at the uh, the Academy page. I do have an account but I'm not logged in so let's see what they're just gonna you know, tell us directly from the page. It looks like that they upgraded the business a bit. Uh, looked at what Rahakmi can do. I think they, sh uh, I think they, they come a long way uh, with the new improved graphics and the the card design, and also the the different you know tags that defining what is easy offensive, medium offensive, easy defensive, and so on, and explore more courses. So let's see what we can see. We've got stuff like. Hacking WordPress, Intro to Academy, Learning Process, Linux Fundamentals, Network Illumination with Nmap, Cracking Password within Hashcat, File Inclusion, Active Directory LDAP, and so on. Let me just scroll down to see how many things we have. Command Injection. I really like these logos. You know, it's really pro. I, I would say I, I'm actually considering doing this, uh, doing more Hack the Box, because it is... And this is by no means any bad words to try hack me, but I always seen hack the box as next level. Now they introduced this, so um, they they got some of the things that try hack me have and made their own. So I guess hack the box is now next level and before level. So they can probably measure themselves with try hack me a bit better now. Which I'm really thrilled to see because I like the competition between the different companies. They will definitely um, make it worthwhile for you to check out. Now, looking at this certified CPTS uh, certification, Hack the Box, Certified Penetration Testing Specialist, they talk about that the introduction is these, uh, let me see, different kind of things you gotta go through, you know, stuff like, let's have a look at this, you know, uh, in-map footprinting, you know, enumeration and attack planning, you know, and then exploitation, password, um, common attacks, pivoting, tunneling, port forwarding, active directory. Uh, I really like to have the word pivoting there because that is one of the things that, that you know, people in general miss out on when it comes to pen testing at least on try hack me it's very uncommon to see pivoting uh okay so web exploitation different kind of web exploitations post exploitation stuff like that and when you take the uh the penetration tester path designed to take you on, on, on a beginner's level all the way to intermediate level in ethical hacking and pen testing uh, via, via a guided content-rich and highly practical curriculum. So it's like step one, complete the pass. Step two, take the exam. Step three, get certified. And is there a buy a voucher into the exam and start pen testing? Something about you have. 10 days of access to the exam lab. Okay, so it's the same way as many of the others. Reminder emails. Okay. 
So you also need to write a report. You must professionally document the five vulnerabilities and remediations. So they do actually. This is um, okay. So this reminds me of uh, OSCP, where you also have to document your findings and stuff. So this is taking the next level. You know, on TriHackMe, you get a certification of completion. This is an actual certification where you need to do uh, a report and stuff. And I would like to say that. You know, this is probably what you would consider next level, next step, because, you know, you will get an actual certification. And I would say, go for it. Hack the box is well known in the community, so not a bad idea. Um, obtain your results. So, um, some instructor will check if you gather the minimum amount of points and then evaluate your submitted report. And... Yeah, you should you should have your result in twenty days, and then and then <laughs> you should probably get it. And but what is the price of all this? You know, so what is the price? They didn't mention that. You know, um, so. For individuals, uh, that is the one. Uh, can we get pricing? Now, there we go. So, the certified penetration testing specialist is CPTS. This is the one with the logo, the guy. It's gonna cost you the Hack the Box certified penetration testing specialist exam voucher cost two hundred ten dollars. Does not include access to the modules of the penetration tested job role path. An exam voucher includes two exam attempts. All right, so in U.S. dollars you can get them in euros and U.K. pounds. Wow, U.K. pounds. Um. So they will say what happened just there. So they will say Silver Annual provides all access to all modules and painted job role path and one exam voucher for a year. So that's four hundred and ninety dollars. Access to all modules, more affordable than buying all modules. So this is uh, yeah, and you also got CPE credits, which is um I think it's a type of credit you can you can collect in order to redo exams, you know, to to, to renew your you know certification. I wanna say that is um something you need to you know make your mind up to whether you like it or not because if you take the cpe credits you kind of need to get an, a certain amount of that to 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 get yourself to the certain point where you can take the next exam whenever it expires right so when your first certification expires you get you need to renew it it is also the way that you know um Certified ethical hacker, you know that those kind of courses. I I actually took that certified ethical hacker version nine. It's a long time ago now, um, and I must be honest, I never thought about renewing it because I was just like, yeah, but you learned the skills, and you learn how to do a lot of offensive hacking and stuff like that. It was really good. You got some books, but renewing it, you know, you, you you're not gonna get a new pair of books, at least not to my knowledge. You're just gonna get the the new exam, so you can probably take it a little easier. So you need to use a lot of money, you know. In my in my eyes, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the different exams, get your your job to pay for it, and then get the certifications, right? And then uh, if the job wanna pay for that extra more, take all the things you can get. That is a really good idea. Student subscription and exam voucher. So if you're a student, you can leverage the student subscription, which provides access to all modules of the pen tracing test of job role path for monthly fee, $8 monthly. Okay, that's really nice. The student subscription does not provide an exam voucher, $210, which you will buy separately. So you can, you can actually get uh, this a bit cheaper if you are studying. So if you're studying and you want to do it, please just do it while you are studying. I'm actually studying at the moment, so I could actually do that if I wish to do it. You can also do like purchase penetration tester path module only plus exam vouchers. That's in four hundred and ten dollars. 
contain up all access to modules and penetration tests of job world path with pertinent and cubes. Now what that is no oh, cubes. It's uh, I think it's the in. Um, I think that's the uh, it's, it's it's the logo of the hack the box and the cubes there 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 the kind of credits in on the web page. And many unlocking them by one one by one. Yes. To start the examination process, you also need to purchase and hack the box certification testing specialist exam voucher for two hundred ten dollars separately. So. All, it, the, but depending on who you are, you will at least use as minimum of two hundred and eighteen dollars if you use one month. That is the cheapest you can get. All right. Access to all other modules up to including tier two. Okay, so it doesn't really sound like this is the same as. Let me just see. As, as this, this, a, this is like job role path. So, I think you should definitely. Um, Research it a bit. Target audience, key differences. Yeah, so. Yeah. You know, take a glance at the knowledge domains. Look at the prices. Is this for you? Is that not for you? Some people like certifications, others do not like certifications. I'm in the. Yeah, you know, I would usually say it's a good idea to have some certifications to back up your skills. If you are a self-taught learner, you will have a hard time proving that you can do something depending on the company you apply for a job in. If you apply for a job in a company that requires you to prove yourself in a certain way because they have a experience that, you know, if you bring that certification to the table, you at least understand a different kind of amount of, you know, uh, uh, technical terminologies and stuff like that, which is kind of half of the job. Half of the job is actually understanding the terminologies. When you can do that, then you can move along to the other kind, I know, richer roles where you can get a higher salary and, 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 and more, you know, responsibility and all that good stuff. All right, so I think I covered all this. I, I'm set up for this, you know, hack the box, really good. Go ahead and do more, uh, give us more certifications. Um, I think the pricing is extremely affordable. I know for some people this is not affordable, but if you're like 18 years old or 21 years old, you just got your first whatever education or you just began it, you know, this is not for you. This is not for you. Maybe take your edu education first. If you feel that you have a lot of money to spend, go ahead and check out the market. You know, starting with the Hack the Box certification is not a bad idea. It is a good idea because you will learn a lot of good skills. And I just want to say I'm not a sponsor of Hack the Box in no way. And I actually t said a lot of bad things about Hack the Box in the past. Well, not that bad, but I, I didn't. I definitely said that try hacking were better. And I'm I'm saying I'm seeing like they are more level now, and I think it's a it's a good thing. So Hack the Box, please improve your your coloring. Um, it is still a bit bare, you know, it, the, the interface is a bit, mm, I like the, the cards, you know, really good, really good. So continue doing that. Um, so, yeah. Oh, we can actually see the, the amount of cubes it cost here to um, to buy them. 20 modules, oh my, buck handy. Pen tester, so that's a lot of my. It reminds me of try hacking many times. All right, I think I covered all this. You know, please check it out. It's a new certification in town. It looks really good. Um, will it get you the job? Depending on which job you're gonna apply for, it will definitely give you an edge. And depending on the company you apply a job for in, that is either be or will not be uh, accepted. Depending on that, you need to gather yourself more experience or find another job in a different company. That is always the thing. So until next time, just want to say. Have a really nice day and see you again online hacking.